road trip day. I don't think I told you guys we are heading to Georgia. Because um, my husband is, you know, doing um, a Christian motivation at this church um, that we used to go to. And we were actually supposed to do it, be there tonight, but I don't know. The way time is going, I don't know if we're going to actually make it on time, but we're still trying to make it there. So, but you would not believe the foolishness that went on trying to get a rental car and paid for it in advance and went to pick up the car and couldn't pick up the car because something about we didn't have a return flight. I'm like, when I booked the car, I told the lady that we're doing a road trip. Like, she never explained to me that if you don't have, if you don't have a returning flight, then this option would not is not for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so we prepaid for it in advance weeks ago and only to find out last night that we weren't able to pick up our rental car. So our best friends and my best friend and her husband is coming with us and we were all supposed to be in the same car together and now we have to take two separate cars and you know drive into your it's just a bunch of craziness but to God be the glory it's working out. It's working out. Then we got into a mini car accident because at the rental car place, the people parked our rental car directly behind our our car, truck, van, whatever you want to call it, Jeep. And so we were backing out and the, the car was in our blind spot and didn't see it. But why would you park a, a car in the middle of the, the, the drive, like the road? It just didn't make sense. Anyway, the police came and everybody came and had to do a police report and all of that. But the police was just like, it's a wash. It's not your fault, basically, because the car should have been parked in a parking spot and not directly behind your vehicle. So, guys, all of this just to go minister to people and save some souls <laughs> but it's worth it <laughs> but it's crazy man don't ever rent from Alamo they suck <laughs> so we're headed we're we're just now headed to uh, we're getting ready to get to New Jersey um, and we left from like after one this morning but Michael got so tired he was tired from the day before raining like we couldn't see anything it was dark and it was raining hard so we pulled over and slept for like three hours on the side of, not on the side of the road but um so we hit we got back on the road like after five so i think we're making pretty good time though for you know to get to new jersey so hopefully we can knock off some time off of the trip and Hopefully we still can get there tonight. I don't know if we're going to be on time, but if we still can get there, it'll be awesome if we can get there just in time for you to preach. Yes. You tell, know. Tell them to stall. Tell them to stall. Like, yeah, yeah, stall the people. <laughs> Give them black people time. <laughs> stall it just a little bit. So, so we're, 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 we're driving. And I have a hoodie on my head, guys, because my hair is not. I really wasn't prepared for this trip. I don't know. Because we both had to work and take care of the kids and try to prepare for the trip. But in terms of like getting my hair done and doing all, I just didn't. I wasn't prepared for that. So, um, but hey, that's what that's what gel is for. <laughs> so, gel it up. Gel it up. We're going to gel it up. And the kids are sleeping. They're all knocked out. Mile, exit right. They're all knocked out. 15. Exit 15. So guys, just wanted to let you guys know what we're up to and Yeah, we're 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 headed on our road trip. By the grace of God, we're gonna get to Georgia. Road trip.
I'm road tripping. It's the gun show. Look guys, it's a tiny house. Like what we see on house hunters. A tiny house. Oh my god, I want one. That is so cute. That is so cute. Honey, can you buy me a tiny house? Sure. Are you going to live in it? <laughs> You're going to live in it with me, honey. I'll put you in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. Just for you. <laughs> yeah? I wonder if it's a tiny house. Hey, guys. Good morning. Happy Fantabulous Saturday. We got to the hotel, finally. We finally got here in Georgia. Um, and we're here in our our hotel is like a residence and it's more like an apartment which is so cool I'm gonna give you guys a tour but this is basically the setup this is where we're staying right here and then that's another apartment another apartment and then this is where my best friend and her husband are staying as well and that's the stairs so I'm going right now to go get us some breakfast because everybody's hungry um, and everybody kind of just woke up right now, so I'm getting ready to go get them some breakfast. So, take you guys on the journey. I hope you guys are having a fantabulous day, and um, I'll see you guys in a little while, all right? That's the Hilton over there, and this is where we are, the Residence Inn. That's basically what it looks like. It looks like little mini um, townhomes, almost, and it's right over there. That's the main entrance. So, I'm getting ready to go get some breakfast with the family and everybody. Hi, good morning. So, um, it's pretty cool. See, it's not really, I think that's the Marriott over there. Marriott, because you know the Residence Inn is a Marriott affiliate. So, I'm getting ready to go in the lobby. Everybody's gonna be looking at me. So. say, well, I'm already going to heaven, so that doesn't really apply to me. But it does apply to you. Because if the promises of God don't manifest in your life on earth, then what good are you as a witness on earth? Because the devil's going to do everything he can to stop the promises of God from manifesting in your life here on earth so that you'll be negative and you'll be miserable and you'll be depressed and you'll be discouraged and you walk around and don't have a witness. Amen. 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 It's not just dying and sending you to hell. It's trying to destroy you, take your joy away, take your peace away. You know, you, you're praying, but nothing's happening. You, you're calling out to God, but nothing's happening. We're going to go into it to see what's really happening, what's really Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Happy Fantabulous Sunday. <laughs> I am we're in the, we're still in Georgia. We're still in Georgia, still in the hotel. And I'm actually cooking. I'm making dinner right now. I'm going to be making some pasta. So guys, I wanted to show you guys basically this is the setup of the hotel room that we're in. That's the kitchen area. Can you close the refrigerator? That's the refrigerator. It's Mikey. Don't put your hand there. That's the dishwasher, the sink. And then that's the cooktop. That's the stove. She broke your shin? Yeah. They're having such a good time. Watch out, excuse me. <laughs> and then this is this is the that's the entryway right there. This is like a breakfast bar that everybody can sit at and eat. And then that's the living room area. Don't open the door. That's the living room area. This is actually a pull-out couch, so the kids sleep on that. And then this is this is the outside. 
of our room where we're staying. That's the Hilton over there. We've been, we've been to like, how many? How many what? Hotels. Uh, quite a few. <laughs> and so this is the bed, king size bed for me and Michael. We sleep in there and, and that's a TV, flat screen, dresser. And then this is like the bathroom area. Of course you see that it's all crazy right now. <laughs> it's all messed up and stuff because we got our stuff on there. And that's me. Hi guys. <laughs> and then this is our closet. Nyla's taking a shower, a bath. This is our closet, so it's like a walk-in closet situation. It's all messy. That's dirty pile, clothes, and then all our bags and stuff is hung up and shoes and everything. And then this is the bathroom. I'm not going to show you Nyla, but that's the toilet and the tub is there. Yeah, guys, so I'm making dinner right now. Michael actually has to, pre he has to preach again tonight. We just came back from him preaching this morning, but... He's got to preach again tonight, but I'm not going to go because, one, I'm exhausted. Two, we have a lot of stuff that we have to do because we got our stuff from the storage. Finally, you guys, we have no storage anymore. Thank you, Jesus. So we finally got our stuff from the storage, and we finally got our stuff out of storage. So... We don't have to pay that extra storage bill anymore. Thank you, Lord. That bill is eliminated. You know, we've been praying for God to help us to become debt free. And so we're taking the practical steps. So we finally got rid of one debt. Um, thank God. So we no longer have the storage anymore. So we got all our stuff. So our car is like so packed up, jam packed. So I'm trying to condense everything. So we don't have to bring so many things back. <laughs> Guys, I had no idea that I had that much stuff. We had that much stuff in storage, but we actually had to give away some things um, to like a charity. We donated a lot of stuff, a lot of furniture, a lot of TVs. We donated a lot of stuff, praise God, you know, to go to helping another family. So we're so grateful to God about that. And, um, yeah, so I had to stay here and condense. I got a bunch of stuff that I had to condense. Um, which, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, like, no jokes. It's a lot of stuff. See, I'm, I'm making, making some, uh, spaghetti meat sauce. It's gonna be so tasty. Got onions in there. I didn't have any garlic, but I have onions and scallions. Oh, guys, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. So, I'm going to leave that and let it just cook down, simmer. Simmer, simmer. Yeah, guys, so I'm going to actually, I have some stuff that I have to um, eliminate. So we don't have to carry back all that stuff with us back to New York. And guys, I'm sorry. Like, we've been vlogging. I haven't really been vlogging too much because we've just been, like, so busy going from one place to the next place. Like, we've been going from the church to the storage yesterday and just just a lot. We had, we were getting a lot done. And it's stuff that we actually needed to get done. So... I, I didn't even bring the camera with me to vlog, so it's not really much that you're gonna see from our trip to Atlanta. But look at these, look at these two crazies right here. They're about to, they're getting ready to go to the pool. So these are, this is the bags that I have to condense. We got a bunch of stuff in there that I have to condense and then some of this stuff is not going with us. Some of that stuff is not going with us. And then that's our older computer. So I got some work to do right now. So I'm about to do that. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a fantabulous day. My voice is gone. So I'm just tired right now, you guys. So, 
see you guys in a little while. What's going on? Just want to stop by and say hi. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys are having a great day. Bye, guys.